joy or happiness, success or failure, peace or dismay. The foundations of our life rest on the words we receive. A word of hope and guidance, translated from the Temple of Solomon in Brazil. You are listening to a word of faith with Bishop Macedo. Hello, my dear friends. May God bless all of you, and may He truly bless, and that He may make His light, His light to shine upon your life, so that your life may have taste, so that your life be an instrument, an instrument and a tool of His glory here in this world. Do you understand this? In other words, may you be filled with the Holy Spirit so that you may flow living waters throughout the earth. And speaking about flowing with living water and to be a spring of water, Look at the secret that God has entrusted us. It is written, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock and the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house. And it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. So it was founded on the rock. So the wise builder is the one who thinks is the one who rationalizes, is the one that takes the decisions based upon the Word of God. That is a wise man. The world call it intelligent or smart, wise, but Jesus calls this man wise because he hears and practices the word, his word, and he likened him with a man who builds a house on a rock, and to build on a rock there is a sacrifice. A person has to dig until they find this rock, and then they make, they make the foundations deep, and they place it, this foundation, making then this house on a rock. When this takes place, it means we are nowadays living the pandemic of coronavirus. So many are right now terrorized, afraid, Many are those who are dying before their time just because of the doubt or fear and the terror that is being spread. Every terror that comes through the bad news. And when a person is of God and they are founded or they are based and they have their life up the word of God, they don't follow pastor, bishop, or church, or religion, A, B, or C. They follow the Lord Jesus. And when a person is based, when they have their life upon the word of God, so it may come whatever it may, and nothing will shake them. It's like we were talking about Psalm 91. Psalm 91 that says, A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand. I will not be moved, because they trust in God. And that is an intelligent faith. 
a faith in which is followed with trust. And it's not a faith of, of mouth, a faith of enthusiasm, a faith that is with feelings. No, but it's a conscious faith. And, and that is what identifies a wise man. Well, on the other hand, Jesus continues saying, but everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them, they are called foolish. And these foolish are the ones who want to make money fast, are the ones who want to build things right away, quickly. And there is, they don't have this sense of responsibility. Because when you try to solve everything in the moment, get rid of your problems right away, you do not learn how to, to live. And you lose the opportunity to learn with the difficulties in life, which is an extraordinary lesson. For example, I, I have learned a lot with the problems, and I thank God for that. All the afflictions and tribulations that I went through, I thank God for it. So the foolish man, the foolish person, they they do whatever it is they can to solve their problems right away, as quickly as possible. And that's why they don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to learn with that problem. And that's why Jesus says they are foolish. Build his house on the rock. No, the rock is too hard for them. It takes too long. So they build the house. On the sand, on the sand, sometimes they build their houses, you know, lying next to the rock or to the hills. And then when the rain comes, when the problems come, the floods come, they don't have foundation because their house is they doesn't have a foundation, and because of that, because they build their house on the sand, then the problem gets even worse, such as depression. How many are those who are watching this right now, and you are depressed? They are completely lost simply because they place their trust in the hand of someone else. They surrender their life to someone else. And then they made this person as number one. They loved them with all of their heart, mind, soul and spirit. And that love we must give to our God, to the Creator. I love my wife. I love Esther very much. She is the person that I love the most in the face of this earth. But my life is not for her. And not even her to me. Her life is not based upon me. She loves me as well, and I know it. But there is everything, there is a limit. And to God is the unconditional love. He is the first. But many, because of this love, because of this love that is foolish, this foolish love, they are doing well, but then suddenly they are deceived or betrayed. That love goes away and then they stay with no nowhere to stand and I you know it sounds it sounds like um, I am mocking but you know it is it is funny because 
Those who see on the outside can, can perceive and see the great the great foolishness that these people have committed in putting their lives in the foundations of sand that will collapse and with any wind, any problem, their life comes to a ruin and that's how they fall into depression. They lost everything, they lost their husband, they lost the wife, lost son, daughter, lost their father, mother, so my life is is ending. So, friends, be wise. You may not have knowledge of this world. You may not be a person with a degree. You may not be a person with academic diplomas or certificates, but it doesn't mean that you are not smart or intelligent. Our intelligence is seen according to the way we think and the way we act. If we use our intelligence to to take care of our life and to build our house upon the rock and not upon the sand, that is to be wise. Because what man or woman or person or money or social position or the success that a person may achieve that is going to last forever in this world? Nothing and no one in this world will last forever. Only God. So when a person puts their life upon things which will pass, like people will pass, so then they will fall into depression because you will lose. You will lose it at some point. Solomon once mentioned, he who loves money will never, will never be satisfied. It's true. Any, anything that you may put first in your life that is not the Lord Jesus Christ, you can be certain that you will be losing and wasting your time and you will lose it. The building upon the sand has no foundation, it will not sustain, it will not remain, it may stand upon, it, the house may stay on the sand, may, may remain standing once it's dry, but when the rain comes, and when the rain comes, we will collapse everything, we will destroy everything, and we have seen it nowadays, how we have seen it happening. Like, for example, in São Paulo, Brazil, as well, where people, they build their houses or their places just like on the side of a mountain. Ah, but they don't have no place to go. And because they don't have a place to go, so then they... They build ah, upon the sand. So because I don't have conditions to find a proper place, I will build it on ah, a sand. No, you cannot be crazy. You cannot be foolish. So friends, this is the message that the Lord, that God has for you, that perhaps uh, you are now reaping the fruits of a bad choice that you have committed. You were not wise on your choice in the past, and you placed your life in people's hands, money, success. Only God to open the eyes and your understanding so that you may understand His Word and to live and to have a life that is secure, safe. That's why Psalm 91, the psalmist says 
that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. The shadow of the Almighty will rest upon him. To dwell in the secret place of the Most High is for you to base, is for you to build your life according, according to the Word of God. So, you dwell in the secret place of the Most High when you put His Word into practice in your life on a daily basis. That is the, the wise direction. And those who, who is wise will obey. And those who will not, who are not, will face the consequences of their disobedience. We'll continue talking more about this. Until then, God bless.